Time for the news review of this bulletin. Hello, welcome to the news review. President Hassan Rouhani says that Iran will get through the coronavirus outbreak in the shortest period of time. I want to promise our great nation that with the support of our physicians and nurses as well as with the support and cooperation of the people will get through this crisis with the minimum number of fatalities and in the shortest period of time. Rouhani said the government will perform its duties to protect the public health and people's livelihood. The president thanked the Iranian medical staff for their hard work in battling the disease. He also expressed gratitude to all countries that helped Iran contain the virus. Rouhani referred to the U.S.'s offer to help to, of help to Iran. He said that if Washington really wants to give assistance, it should at least remove sanctions on medicines. Iran announced the coronavirus outbreak more than two weeks ago. Health authorities say that over 2,900 people have tested positive for the virus. They say the death toll is 92. Daniel Lazar is journalist and author who joins us from New York. We have Jason Anruha, a political commentator, who joins us from Niagara Falls. Welcome to you both. Uh, let me start with you first, uh, Daniel Lazar. Uh, do you think that Iran should have accepted the offer of help for the c dealing with the coronavirus from the U.S., or is it right to say that uh, if the U.S. wants to help, it would lift the sanctions on medicines at a minimum? I fully agree with Iran's position on this. Uh, I mean, look, the, uh, the virus uh, the virus is, is spreading because of the fractured political structure of the international uh, community. Um, and war and uh, economic blockades, like, the, uh, like that which the U.S. has imposed on Iran, um, cause, the, uh, cause a cutoff in medicine. It causes a, a, a cutoff in, a, in, in international medical cooperation. Uh, it makes it all too easy for the uh, virus to advance. So the best thing, the only thing the U.S. could do is to lift the uh, economic sanctions and to, and to put an end to the, to the endless war threats so that international cooperation could really proceed on an honest scientific basis. Uh, but the U.S. is not doing that. It prefers uh, to wage war and, uh, and engage in a, a econ a economic uh, punishment uh, rather than making real progress against the, the, uh, the, virus, uh, the virus threat which is a, a tragic and criminal uh, position. Yeah, I'm, in, uh, I'm not in position uh, to uh, medically talk about uh, what this coronavirus is uh, about, Jason and Ruhe, but one thing is for sure, when you have uh, one of the top, if not the top pharmaceutical maker inside of Iran saying that, you know, we need to, uh, ingredients to make the medicines, but because of the banking transactions uh, that uh, the U.S. has uh, imposed sanctions on for countries dealing with Iran, we're unable to do that. So I'm guessing that weakens uh, the way that Iran, perhaps in some sense, is dealing with the virus. Uh, so when you break this down, uh, the, isn't the U.S. contributing to the coronavirus, not only within Iran, which leads to deaths in many cases, but also for it possibly to spread around the world? Well, the, uh, this would certainly be the case. I mean, ever, the world revolves around money. And money and money exchanges involve just about everything that exists in society in general. And this is equally true of the medical industry. I mean, you know, supplies do not fall out of the sky. The production of materials do not appear out of thin air. They require transactions. And every country in the world needs to purchase something from another country in the world and to block that specifically doing so inside the actual medical industry is uh, a blatant violation of human rights, not just legally, but morally as well. I mean, when you're blocking the financial sector, you're blocking an entire country, basically, because this cuts off the fair, legitimate exchange of goods and services using that money, which is, which is a medium of, of exchange. And you end up sabotaging that entire process of exchange for uh, necessary goods. I mean, it's very clear that the United States has zero interest in the well-being of the Iranian people. If that were the case, then they would release banking sanctions at, at the very least 
on the medical sector allowing them to do this. What we're looking at is a very blatant and deliberate attempt to help spread the virus inside Iran by an intentional, deliberate attempt to undermine its medical uh, industry, uh, its uh, medical services, in trying to deal with this uh, growing global situation. I think that this is something that uh, international courts should look look into at this point. Because if there was any shred of integrity or human decency in the American empire, they would at least get rid of the sanctions with relations to anything related to health care. Well, uh, looking at some of the initial reactions, uh, uh, Daniel Lazar, of the U.S., I mean, not to just put them under the spotlight, but since our topic here is uh, the U.S. Re uh, related to Iran, you can see that uh, Donald Trump uh, first downplayed the virus, said that uh, it's nothing to worry about, and then he uh, eventually changed his tune a bit. And you can even see that in terms of the assistance that he required or asked which uh, was one or two billion and up to nine billion dollars, I believe, is the last figure. Um, yet at the same time, he blamed Iran for downplaying uh, this, uh, this virus in which Iran was trying to just uh, contain it, report it uh, as accurately as possible in terms of how it was unfolding. Look, you're, you're correct. The, uh, the U.S. attitude is hypocritical in the extreme. In fact, it's, uh, it's criminal. Um, but what's, uh, what I think is important to emphasize is that it ultimately is self-defeating, uh, because um, if uh, Iran turns into a hot, hot spot for the uh, virus, that virus will not stay within Iran's borders. It'll, uh, it'll spread throughout the world uh, to U.S. allies in the, in the Middle East and ultimately, ultimately to the U.S. itself. So the U.S. is, uh, is hurting itself uh, in its attempt to, uh, to harm uh, uh, Iran. Uh, so every American uh, who was worried about this, uh, this, this, uh, this epidemic's uh, spread, and everyone should be worried, uh, um, uh, should be up in arms over what their government is doing uh, in sabotaging uh, the effort to, uh, to, um, to control the pandemic, because Americans will suffer as well. Thank you, Daniel Lazar, journalist and author, and thank you, Jason Anruhe, political commentator. And that does it for this edition of the News Review. Thanks for watching.